Hi everybody, it's Diane. Yes, I'm back with the Twinchies and the movie stars. I know the last time I did this, I said, it was, I kind of thought it would probably be the last one, but there's still a little room in that box, so why not? Anybody know who this is? You can tell by her hair, it's a 20s girl there, right? It's Colleen Moore. It's too bright. She mostly made silence. She made a couple talkies and then retired, I think. Yeah, the guys outnumber the girls today. That doesn't happen too often. That's interesting. Look at that. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what I've been doing the last couple ones videos is I try to find background stuff and then I put them together by myself and then come back and paint. So we'll see. What about a little bit of this? But I like it. The color's off a little bit. I did not find words for these folks yet. I didn't have time. So if I come across anything, that would be wonderful, but I'm not really looking for words right now. Bigger, better, bolder, that would fit with him. <laughs> but that's too big. Anybody know who that is? I highly doubt it. That is Ernest Torrance. Uh, mostly silent. He's the dad in Steamboat Bill Jr. for any Buster fans. What about these fady flowers up here? Kind of cute. All right, I'll leave that with her for now. Next, we'll just go with her. Though it's awfully white. Yeah, too boy. Classic movie fans know who that is. Anne Sheridan. Oh, I did have a word for her because I have. Well, I'm not going to look for it now. I had a stash of words that. I came across here it is and I decided to save them um fear <laughs> which sorry and she probably won't like that she was known as the oomph girl and she didn't really like that title but I found um fear and it just I have to use it for her I just have to Kind of interesting, but there's not much of it. Yeah, I'm back to long sleeves. Can you tell? This weather, it's the end of April. Oh, there's more of it than I thought. It's the end of April. Long sleeves, winter coat, frost warning, you know. <laughs> no happy. Oh, this might be too dull. Let's try it though. Oh, that's alright. Okay. Good. And she even has a word. You have to know who that is, unless you're young. If you're young, you're probably not watching my channel anyway. After doing, that's not bad, um, Dorothy Lamour and Bing Crosby, I figured I had to do Bob Hope, so there he is. And I did cut him out because his background was just this really 
blah, kind of beige color. All right, we'll do something cool with that. You probably know who that is, although that's a young picture of him. And his most famous role, he wore a lot of makeup. That's Burgess Meredith. Does that mean anything to anybody? He's the penguin on the old Batman TV series. But he made a lot of movies and I think he did a lot of TV too and stage. He had quite a career. And he's really good if you've never seen him in anything but Batman. Well, he was good in that too, but he was not even on an episode of the Monkees one time. I, just, I think it was just like a little cameo. It was kind of funny. All right, he needs something on that side. What about something lighter? shade of gray. <laughs> that sounds like a poem or something, doesn't it? The wrong shade of gray. Yeah, what's wrong about it? I don't know. It uh, tips into purple and that doesn't go. Okay. All right, we figured that out. that. A little odd maybe, but let's try it. Get under there. That's kind of interesting actually. I like that. Okay. Okay. Matches. And there's enough of it. I don't know though, we want something with this. Is that too boring to just have that all the way across? Kind of. really has to do with him but I sort of like this gold frame let's see if that was cut better and didn't have white that's kind of interesting why not okay that was relatively quick good I'm going to find little accessory doodads for these cards and words and glue them down and then we'll come back and paint they're way over there, aren't they? Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm finally up to painting. I had so much trouble with those two. <laughs> I could not find a little accessory thing for this one to save my life. I'm not wild about these as a design, but I like the colors a lot, so that's fine. And I sort of had trouble with Anne, too. I not as much as that one but i thought those were a little dark but i like them um, anyway here we are up to paint those actually you know they look like feathers they were palm tree you know we call them fronds whatever they're called the, 
palm tree leaves in a blue sunset thing kind of off in the distance in a picture but I thought cut out like this they look like feathers I thought that was kind of cool well what about a little blue spattering and maybe that'll make that dark blue not look so what obvious <laughs> yeah that's pretty good what about a little right here okay I guess that's okay. I think that's fine. There's kind of a lot going on in the background there. I don't want to overdo that. Okay, Mr. Troublemaker. Well, this peach color would be pretty good, except I don't have that. I have this and this. I'll probably mix up to that. Oops. <laughs> How much of this paint do you really want? What do I want to do with it? It's a little dark. I don't know. I just wanted to prove that I could mix it. <laughs> well, all these splotchy things are going this way. I think we'll follow suit. Except I can't do it that way. I'll do it this way. That's okay. Is that enough? I could do a tad of black spatters. Whoops. She missed the paint can. Yeah, why don't we do that? Just like right there. You see that? It's going like everywhere but on the card. Okay. <laughs> Like there's nothing happening here okay yeah that's fine okay well what about this one yeah black is too dark I think we want brown or orange not a little orange could use white or off-white too That's good. Yeah, I'll just leave that one alone. I think that's fine. I 
kind of had trouble finding an accessory thing for him too, but not as much trouble as that one. Well, what about off-white? Okay. Okay. All right, last. Well, what about this color with some lighter in it? So what's with the furniture on this, Diane? What is that? Does anybody know? She was into dolls and doll houses and her fairy castle doll house that I'm sorry to say I've never seen in person is at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, or at least it used to be. So anyway, <laughs> You want to explain that? I just thought, you know, if she was into dollhouses and that, I'd have little furniture on there. I thought that was kind of cute. And I just like it anyway. It kind of looks like fairy tale-ish or something. I don't know. Maybe a little darker on the edge, at least this side. Yeah. Sort of fun and kind of cute. Okay, well, you guys know the drill. I have to let this dry and then Mod Podge and varnish and all that. So I'll come back when they're done and you can see what they look like. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm back for a quick look. They are done. These two, I did add just a touch of more paint because of this green down here in the magazine paper. There was nothing else green, so I put a little green up there. And then this one has a little bit of, it was some sort of lights. <laughs> Your patio lights or something, so I added a touch of gold. I think those look pretty nice. So Anne Sheridan, Colleen Moore, Bob Hope, Burgess Meredith, which that turned out fine in the end, and Ernest Torrance. Okay, another grouping. I kind of doubt I'll do any more of these on camera. I've just got room enough for a couple, I think, in the box. I'll probably do those on my own. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.